So these Hawaiian geese, and they're also known as nenes. Uh, they are a bird that really have had a tough time. They, in the mid 1900s, were down to about 24 individual birds in the wild. Uh, they were listed as endangered, and there was a lot of breeding programs put out to try and protect them. Since then, they've actually done okay. They, they're still prone to sort of agricultural uh, changes in their landscape in Hawaii uh, which obviously has an impact on them. They're also prone to malaria ironically. Uh, there is a strain of malaria that affects birds and it isn't very good for these guys. Uh, introduced predators on Hawaiian islands are also not very good for them um, but they're a really cool bird. They're, they're, there's now around about 3,000 in the world uh, so they've changed the status from endangered um, they're vulnerable and they're still being looked after they're still the numbers are still being uh, sort of supplemented in the wild by captive breeding but they've got a really good anatomy if you look at their feet because obviously Hawaii is made up of volcanic lava they're very hungry as you can see and um, because Hawaii is made up of volcanic lava uh, they've got really flexible feet so you can see that the web on their feet doesn't come right to the end like on most ducks and geese. They've also got quite sharp claws. They've also got very long toes. If you look at the toes are really long. So the feet are really flexible. And then underneath there, they've also got some padding. Because again, they're walking over dried lava, which is quite a rugged landscape. So they're really well adapted to their environment. They're, they're thought to have been um, ancestors of the Canadian geese. And... They, they sort of don't migrate, they stay within Hawaii, they, they move about within Hawaii but don't really go anywhere from there and they don't particularly rely on water, they can actually sort of breed quite happily on land whereas other geese like to breed on the actual water, these guys will breed on land.